it's finished. St. Eyestown nil, Kettering three. Um, so Ricky, immediate thoughts on the game? Huge disappointment. Um, yeah, big occasion. And yeah, ultimately we went out of a whimper, didn't we? So it was, uh, it's frustrating. I'm a little annoyed, um, but it is what it is. It's, you know, it's, football's a funny game. You try not to get too highs off your wins and try not to get too lows off the off the off the losses. So, look, we had a, we've had a good chat, um, and ultimately, we, you know, we need to be we need to be better. So, congratulations to Kettering, and I wish him wish him well in the in the next round. And was there anything sort of in particular that you could pinpoint to the performance today? Was there a tactical change or anything? No, like that? not really. I think. Um, I think uh, the, the, the scoreline in the first half didn't flatter Kettering. We were, you know, I don't think Kettering were, were brilliant, but they didn't need to be. I thought we were we were really, really poor. And when you are that poor and you're losing every duel, you're not landing on any second balls. Every time we, we had possession, we turned it over. We were constantly having to defend. Um, when we were defending, we weren't tight. We didn't stop crosses in the box. You know, that's not the opposition being good. That's us being really poor. And we were really poor in the first half. But what what was it, you know, like we just said to the players, we, we'll go away. Ultimately, when the players win, it's on the players. When we lose, it's, it's on the management team. And we'll go away tonight. We'll reassess what we done Thursday. We'll reassess the team selection. We'll reassess the formation we played. We'll reassess the tactics. Could we have done something different? Um, maybe, you know, but ultimately we, um, it, it wasn't to be today. Really disappointed. Congratulations to Kettering. We move on. And um, it seemed to stem the flow a little bit when you made that change in the first half. I like banged for Smith. What was the, the thought behind that? Um, the thought process for leaving Aaron out was because we knew that they were uh, they are pacing wide areas. So we put Paddy's our best one v one defender, and Benji's got raw pace. So you know it was uh, it was a tactical decision that we made to to go that way. And um, I think we need to put some respect on Aaron Smith's name. You know, ultimately when he come on the pitch, it it, it had a, a really positive impact, and um, that was a a poor decision from from me for sure and uh we rectified it but at that point when it was too new it was probably too little too late it's really about positive impact there is there any other particular positives you can take from the game or yeah, i thought we looked better when we changed the shape in the second half i don't know if that's because it was three nil at half time and the game was done um but i thought we we were better in the second half we carried more of an attacking threat goalkeeper didn't have a save to make you know our, our 18 yard box didn't really get uh, penetrated like it was in the first half. I thought the, the shape in the second half worked. Um, maybe we could have started with that from the start. You know, it's all hindsight. These are things that we'll go away and look at. But, you know, David Ajimbola, who, who come on, he's waited a long time for an opportunity. I thought he'd come on and was, was outstanding. Um, but, yeah, just, I'm just really disappointed. Really disappointed. I feel like on a big, big occasion, big crowds, a lot at stake. Uh, we um, we let ourselves down today. Okay, well, looking forward, we've got uh, the FA Trophy next weekend, and then uh, the resumption of the league fixtures. So, what's your thoughts on those games? Yeah, nice coming? easy one away at workshop next week. So, that, <laughs> <laughs> so look, look forward to that. Look, we we said it there. This football is a funny old game. It's a really really funny game. You know, for as bad as we were today for the for the first forty five minutes, we were as good for the set the, the second half against Bromsgrove away on Saturday. So. Um, you know, we, what we have to do at the minute is when we're good, we have to make sure that we, we, we score. And when we're bad, we have to make sure we don't concede. And um, we've got to make sure we go to work so when we're not bad. Because if we are, it's going to be a, a, a long old 90 minutes. But there'll be a lot of people in that changing room that got a point to prove. There'll be a lot of people in that changing room that if they're left out the starting 11 on, on Saturday, um, they, they can't question the decision as to why. And, and there's a few players that have been waiting for an opportunity that will be pretty annoyed if they've been waiting for an opportunity and they've seen what we served up in the first 45 minutes and they're not given one. That, that they'll be knocking my door down saying, how am I meant to get back in the team if, if, uh, if I'm not given an opportunity after that? So, um, yeah, there's a lot, to, a lot to think about. I'm going to try and switch off for tonight. We'll, we'll reevaluate tomorrow. Um, and then we'll have a good session on, on Thursday where you know I'm expecting everyone to come in and 
be putting in a proper shift to make sure it's not them that's left out the team come Saturday. Um, and we'll go to workshop and uh, I'm, 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 I always said it's stupid, but I'll back us. I'm going to back us to go to workshop and get a win. So that's the sort of person I am. I haven't lost faith in this group of players. We just need to be a little, well, a lot better than what we were today. All right. Well, hard luck today, Ricky, but thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you.